Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you a bunch of different city build hacks that we can use to improve our cities. And don't worry, I will leave a timestamp for each individual build hack down below in the description. First of all, a hot dog stand. Begin by placing two looms facing each other. We then want to place an open fence gate on either the left or right side, open up one of the looms, place a red banner in there with some white dye, and apply the pally pattern? Parloy. I don't know how that's pronounced. Regardless, grab that banner and apply it to the front and back of the stand. Behind the oak fence gate, place two end rods on top of each other and surround the upper end rod with string. We then want to place red carpet on top of the end rod and then diagonally from that carpet. Then place white carpet in between to create a checkered pattern like so. Finally, we can add an item frame to our grill with some food in it. I'm going with a raw pork chop just because I think it looks better than a cooked one. You can also add a campfire underneath the grill as well if you want an added extra effect. You can even change the colours of the banners and the carpets to create a different stand entirely. Next, an ice cream stand. This could also be interpreted as a cotton candy stand. Place a cauldron on the ground with a light blue concrete to the right of it. To the left, we want to place an open birch fence gate. Then, on top of the cauldron, an item frame with pink dye in there. We then want to throw down the loom, open it up, place a light blue banner in there with some white dye, and apply, we're not going to try this again, the stripey pattern. Grab that banner and then apply it to the front and the back of the stand. Next, we are going to place two end rods stacked on top of each other behind the fence gate, and then place string all the way around the end rod. Next, we are going to place a pink carpet on top of the end rod, extend out the carpet diagonally, and then place white carpet in between. And last but not least, a pointed dripstone on top of the light blue concrete. And there we have our ice cream stand slash cotton candy stand. Next, a phone booth. Pick a block on the ground. This is going to be the center of the booth. Left of this, place two mangrove trapdoors next to it, flipped up. Place two mangrove trapdoors behind it, both flipped up. And then place two mangrove trapdoors to the right of it, both flipped up. We then want to add a backwards facing mangrove door to the front of this and this is essentially the walls of the box. We then want to add a mangrove slab to the top of this, add signs around the slab. The first sign however is going to detail what this is which is just phone booth. <laughs> Phony booth. <laughs> Let's just fix that. So you can either just have that singular sign, which as I look at it, I quite like, or you can just add signs all the way around. It's kind of up to you, but I sort of like just the one sign on the front. Regardless, once you have done that, we are now going to add an item frame in this. And in the item frame, we want to add a phone. So I like the idea of a hopper or I mean, guys, goat horn, hear me out. The goat horn, tools and utilities, call. Cool. Need I say more? So we place this in the item frame. Phone booth complete. Next, a more modern version of a phone booth. Begin by placing a smooth quartz stair on the ground with a smooth quartz block on top of it. An item frame in front of the stair with an iron trapdoor inside of it. A trip wire hook in front of the smooth quartz block and then place glass pane extending to the left and in front and to the right and in front of our two quartz blocks. We then simply want to place light grey carpet on top of this, and there we have a modern phone booth. Next, some standing billboards. Begin by placing your favourite colour of frog light on the ground with two black concrete on top. We then want to place a white carpet on top of that, and then place paintings around the black concrete like this. That's actually spectacular that we have achieved the same painting on all four sides. We can also make a larger version by simply placing two frog light 
with two rows of black concrete on top, white carpet on top of that, and then we can apply some different paintings. So that is actually insane. Guys, this doesn't happen very often. This is the front and this is the back. Anyway, dot these around your city and not only do you have a nice little lighting option, but it's kind of just a cool advertisement. Next, an ATM. This is better placed against a wall. So, begin by placing three cyan terracotta on top of each other with a polished andesite extending from the bottom to the right. Then, another row of cyan terracotta to the right of this with polished andesite stairs connecting the top together. We then want to place a stone button in front of the andesite, an activator rail on top of it, a painting on the wall behind the ATM. I'm looking for something specific. I like this one. Then, above this, an item frame with a diamond inside of it. ATM. Next, a street sign. Begin by placing an oak fence on the ground and an oak sign facing this way. Our first label is going to be a street, so why don't we go like street? Perfect. So, on top of this, we will want to stack another sign facing the opposite way. So, on top of this, we'll stack another oak sign and we will have subscribe avenue. Perfect. Place these on the corner of your street and it will just help you to label and lay out your city a bit better. Next, a bench. Place two campfires next to each other. Extinguish the flames. Then place spruce trapdoors flipped up behind the campfires with spruce signs left and right of the campfires. There we have a simple bench. Feel free to extend it or shrink it. We can take the previous concept one step further by placing two brown glazed terracotta on the ground with green shulker boxes on top. Then campfires in front and behind the glazed terracotta, extinguish the flames and then place spruce signs left and right of the campfires. Now we have a bit of greenery mixed with two benches. This is great in the middle of a large street or open area. Next, a bin. Place a green shulker box on the ground, throw down a loom, open it up, place a green banner in there with black dye, and then apply the chief pattern. Throw some green dye in there, and then apply the bourgeois pattern. Grab that banner, apply it to the front of the shulker box with a polished blackstone pressure plate on top. Super simple bin. And it actually works. Just say goodbye to your pressure plate. Another simple bin is a cauldron on the ground, surrounded by flipped up spruce trap doors, either left like this or with an oak trap door on top. Perfect. Next, a post box. Begin by placing a polished blackstone on the ground with a red concrete on top of it. Then, a polished blackstone pressure plate on top of that. Then, throw down loom, Open it up, apply a white banner with some light grey dye. We are looking for the field mason pattern. Grab that, put that back in with some black dye. We then want to apply the perfess pattern. Grab that, put that back in with two red dye. First, apply the fess pattern and then the bourgeois pattern. Once you've done that, we can then apply this to the front of our mailbox and boom, nice and simple. Next, some super simple street lights. Begin by placing three stone brick wall on top of each other with a stone slab on top. Extend forwards and place an okra frog light in front. This is really simple and you can use different materials to achieve this effect. For instance, we can place three diorite wall on top of each other. One, two, three. Polished diorite slab on top extend forwards and apply a verdant frog light underneath this. It's just a matter of personal preference. And finally, something slightly different, three polished blackstone wall on top of each other, polished blackstone slab on top, extend forwards and backwards, pearlescent frog light in front and behind, and there we have a double street light. Next, a dumpster. This is best placed against a pre-existing build. Two green shulker boxes next to each other with oak trap doors on top and then one or two dried kelp blocks to look like tied up trash bags. 
You may or may not choose to add some candles to the top of these to look as though that the drawstrings have been twisted and tied together. Next, a super simple tree which we can repeat along a sidewalk. Dig a hole in the ground and place podsole there instead. Dig around the podsole and replace it with stone. On top of the podsole, place two spruce fence, extend a spruce fence gate to the right, and place a sideways yet open spruce fence gate left of the fence. Oak leaves on top, which we then want to extend forwards, to the right, left, backwards, and up. Then we are simply going to place chains on top of the stone, just like this, to look like guardrails. There we go, super simple tree, easily repeatable, looks great. Next, a super simple traffic light. Place a black stone wall on the ground with two black concrete on top of each other. Then, throw down the loom, open it up, place a yellow banner in there with lime dye. Make the base pattern, throw red dye in there, and apply the chief pattern. Finally, throw black dye in there and apply the bourgeois indented pattern. Grab that banner, throw it onto the traffic light, and there we have it. Next, a super simple road crossing. Dig three blocks in the road, one row away from the pavement. Replace those blocks with white concrete powder, and then leave a gap extending to the opposite side of the road and do the same thing, and once again, do the same thing. And then, on the ends of the crossing, you can either leave it as it is, or you can dig out the corresponding blocks, extend left and right, and place terracotta to further emphasize that this is a pedestrian crossing, just like this. You can make this even more obvious by placing a polished black stone wall in the middle of the end of the crossing on the road, with a diorite wall on top and a beacon on top of that, and do the same on the opposite side, like so. Another cool thing that you can do is take the previous two concepts and make a traffic light controlled crossing. So on the end here, where the cars would be driving, we are going to place an end and sight wall on top of this terracotta with a yellow concrete on top, polished black stone wall on top of that, and two black concretes on top of that. Apply the traffic light banner facing towards where the cars would be and a polished black stone button. So you would push this, activate the lights, and then you would be able to walk across the crossing, and you would also have the same on the opposite side. However, it would be in reverse. It would be facing this way. So, and the side wall, yellow concrete, polished black stone wall, two black concrete on top of each other, banner facing the opposite direction this time, and then a polished black stone button just to finish this off. Next, a parking meter. Begin by placing an andensite wall on the ground with two light grey concrete on top of each other, a stone button in front of the lower concrete and a trip wire hook in front of the upper one, a heavy weighted pressure plate on top, then throw down the loom, open it up, throw a blue banner in there with some white dye and apply the pale sinister pattern. Throw blue dye in there this time and apply the perfess inverted pattern. White dye back in with the fess pattern Chief Pale Dexter. We can then take this banner and apply it to one or both sides of the parking meter. I like to just have it on one side. So we can leave it like this, or what I would recommend is making a bay for a car. So digging in the road here, one, two, three, and then dig that way five rows, one, two, three, four, five, and then dig back towards the pavement fill in what we have destroyed with yellow concrete and there we have a super simple parking bay which you can make bigger or smaller next a traffic gun the simple version is to place a wall with a flower pot on top of it but one step further throw down a limb open it up orange banner with white dye apply the bourgeois pattern throw that back in with some orange dye we then want to apply the orange fess pattern and we can go one step further here by placing the orange perfess inverted. What we can then do is apply this around the edge of the redstone wall. And there we have a traffic cone. It looks a little bit insane with the banners, but I do think that it kind of gets the point across. Maybe it looks better without the pot? I'm not sure. I'll leave that decision up to you. 
A simple road barrier can be made by placing an acacia fence on the ground, bamboo fence gate attached to it, acacia fence next to the gate, open it up or close it. I think that it looks better open and there we have a simple road barrier which we can even use in conjunction with the previous build to make a blockade. Begin by placing four wool on the ground. One, two, three, four. Add another row in front of this. Glow item frames where the front of the car is going to go and oak trap doors flipped up on the left and right sides of the left and right side of the car. Towards the back end of the car, place two red wool on top of the body of the car with glass pane in front of the wall. Then matching carpet for the roof and you can even extend up the bonnet and the boot as well. Incredibly easy car. Next, a motorcycle. Place a black concrete on the ground and then a wall to the right of it. Then a smooth quartz stairs facing towards a wall with a black concrete on the end. Stone buttons on the sides of the black concretes with levers on the sides of the wall. We then simply have to place light grey carpet on top of the two black concrete. And there we have an incredibly easy motorbike. Next, a bush shelter. Place a stone brick wall on the ground and behind it a light blue stained glass pane. Behind that, another stone brick wall. Left of this, a glass pane, stone brick wall, glass pane, stone brick wall. Extend the walls each up by two and the glass pane only upwards by one. Then place string in between all of the wall and then create a rectangle of string and then place a green carpet on top of all of the string and the walls like this. We then want to apply a painting to the right side of the shelter so you can go with a 1x2 or a 2x2. We then want to make a seat by placing three spruce trap doors across the top of the lower half of the shelter on the left side. Super simple bus shelter. Next, a bus. Begin by placing a smooth quartz block on the ground. A loom next to it and then a smooth quartz block next to that. Extend backwards by placing a black concrete, three smooth quartz, one, two, three, black concrete, smooth quartz. Extend across the back by two, then extend towards the front of the bus by placing a black concrete, two smooth quartz. Dig in the ground to the right, place a smooth stone with an oak door on top and then a black concrete next to that. Then place stone buttons on the sides of the black concretes. In addition to that, place a birch sign in front of the loom. Inside of the bus, we are going to dig out all of these blocks and replace them with smooth stone. And then, right at the front, we will place a polished deep slate stair, leave a gap, stair, gap, stair, just like this. On the front of the bus, place a glow item frame left and right of the loom with yellow stained glass pane in the item frames. On the back of the bus, place glow item frames on the left and right sides with red stained glass pane inside of the item frames. Place a smooth quartz block on top with acacia buttons in front of the smooth quartz. We then can extend the smooth quartz up an additional row like this. Place a glass pane in between. On the right side of the bus, we want to extend the smooth quartz forwards a row and then forwards from this. Place a glass pane extending only from the bottom and then a smooth quartz, glass pane, smooth quartz, glass pane, just like this. That last glass pane we can make two rows high but we then want to place a smooth quartz block on top of every single other block. We also want to place a lever extending out from above the front wheel. Extend the two glass panes across the front of the bus on top of the bonnet. Then, behind these glass panes, place a smooth quartz block and extend the upper block all the way back to connect to the back of the bus. Place a smooth quartz on top of the uh, wheel with a glass pane to the right and then a smooth quartz right of this. A lever next to the door here. And then lastly, simply fill the entire top of the bus in using smooth quartz slabs. There we have a really simple city bus. 
And that is it ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking to make more city related builds, look no further than the mini city builds playlist down below in the description, you will be able to make everything that you can see on the screen and stuff that you can't see. Thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye.